Hello, this is Dr. Paul Cottrell, and I am doing my very first Rumble studio stream, so hopefully everything will turn out okay. Um, so let's begin. The purpose of this video is to give you an update of the things that I am doing for my store, the-studio-rayfic.com. Now, this video will be up on Rumble, BitChute, Brighton, and the three channels on YouTube that I have. Um, so in my videos, I always have the links at the very, in the description box for each of the videos. So you can click those links and subscribe to all my channels, be able to donate, to be able to, to follow me on X and on Getter. Um, so, you know, please do that. Make sure that you subscribe to all my channels Please follow me on X and on Getter. Uh, I am censored on YouTube. My Smalls channel on YouTube had another strike on some content I was discussing dealing with disease X. Um, so, you know, the censorship is still there. I think this is part of the reason why a lot of people are moving towards Rumble. But um, there is some functionality and uh, the viewership on YouTube still is the number one um, in terms of, of uh, you know being able to get people to, to, to see your to, to see your show. So um, you know Rumble is getting better, but um, I have six channels. Please subscribe to all those channels. That's Rumble, Bitchu, Brighton, and the three channels I have on YouTube to get around the censorship. Um, so with that said, you can go to my store, the-studio-rakevic.com. Now, I have some new products to offer on my store. Some of those products are uh, lectures that I've been doing that are, that are tied to uh, certain systems of the human body and how to treat certain types of diseases, uh, how to diagnose certain types of diseases, how to understand some of the pathology of these, some of these diseases. And uh, I have some health supplements that uh, I have also added to the store. So we're going to go through, you know, many of the, of the products, but the bulk of this video is going to be based on the pulmonary module. So what I have done is I have added to the store so you can purchase these, what I, what these modules, all right? And each module is a certain system of the body. Uh, it is detailed content. You'll get a lot of different PDF files of the slides that I go over in each of the lectures. Each lecture is around any for anywhere from about 25 minutes to maybe about 45 minutes. Uh, the pulmonary module has 22 lectures with 22 PDF files. So as I populate the module, you will be able to see and have access to that latest release, the latest release for that for that module. So let's uh, let's talk about what kind of modules are going to be published on on the on the store, and and then we'll talk about the details about the actual pulmonary module. So with that, um, I have divided out the different modules into um, a lot of different categories. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 20 different modules, all right? Now, not all the modules are up on the store, just the pulmonary one is being populated right now, but you can purchase that for $50. All right, so let me just read off what the modules will be. Uh, basic pharmacology, behavioral science, biochemistry, biostatistics and ep epidemiology, cardiology, cell biology, dermatology, endocrinology, gastroenterology, the um, genetics, hematology, immunology, infectious diseases, muscle skeletal, neurology, pathology, 
psychiatry, pulmonology, renal, and reproductive. So there was 20 different modules. I started with pulmonology, all right? Now, the whole idea of this is, is that you purchase on my store, you'll go, you can go to store and then classes, and then you'll see a button and it'll say pulmonology for $50. You click that and you can purchase and put that in your cart. And what will happen is, is that after your purchase, you will get a, a file email to you telling you the password and that password for you will be able to be entered when you go to classes up at the very top of, of the home page you type in classes you click the module that you purchased right now there's only one module populated but there will be 20 modules so you click that module and you'll have a special password for each of your modules and you'll type in your password and you'll go into that module. Once you go into that module, then you will have access to all the different lectures that have been populated for that module. Um, and that will be, you can download the PDF and you'll be able to see a video lecture that I do for that particular slide deck. All right. So let's Let's go over what sort of things are in the pulmonary module. Now, the, the pulmonary module, the pulmonology module, is uh, dealing with 22 different topics, all right? Let me read them off to you. The pulmonary embryology, pul pulmonary anatomy, pulmonary physiology, hemoglobin, pulmonary circulation, hypoxia, ventilation and perfusion, carbon dioxide, lung and physical exam, lung and the physical exam for that, pulmonary functional tests, obstructive lung disease, restrictive lung disease, treatment of COPD and asthma, pneumonia, pleural disease, lung cancer, sleep apnea, cystic fibrosis, sarcoidosis, sarcoidosis, pulmonary embolism, chest x-rays, and tuberculosis. So those, I, I, there's a lot of material there. So again, you know, there's gonna be 22 PDFs with an accompanying video that I do that's anywhere from about 25 minutes to about 40, 45 minutes long, it depends on the content. Some content has more slides, others have less slides, but you will learn a lot about pulmonology. Now the question, you know, the, the question may arise to the ones that are watching, why do this? Well, for many reasons, okay? One, it's to um, catalog the, the knowledge that I've gained um, through my medical studies, but also to, to, um, to promote this idea of citizen scientists, all right? My observation when we went through the crisis in 2020 was is that there was an awful lot of people that were interested in science but did not have really a science background, especially at an MD level or a PhD level. So there was a, there was a gap between the knowledge that was out there that could be obtained uh, and the the knowledge base of the masses to be able to really understand what the news what the mainstream news was saying what some of the research publications were saying what were some of the uh, individuals that were covering it that did have a scientific background was saying uh, it I think that the baseline, at least in the United States, and I think worldwide in general, in Western, in, especially in Western cultures, um, is, a, is subpar to where it needs to be in terms of scientific understanding, especially in medicine. That's one reason, to be the citizen scientist, to be able to discern um, what the mainstream media is saying, what some 
people on YouTube or Rumble are saying. So you have your, you can form your own opinion because everyone does have an opinion, but it's not necessarily true that everyone's opinion is equal based on their knowledge base, all right? And based on their intellectual inquiry. So, um, so to, to tackle this problem, uh, I, I figured that provide information that is of a medical school level for the masses, all right? Medical school knowledge for the masses. Now, what will you gain after you go through all these modules? When you go through these 20 modules, all right? You will gain the ability to understand how your body works, how to improve your health, perhaps pick up signs early, earlier than you would have, you would have had, had uh, and go to your doctor and have a discerning conversation on uh, potential treatments or what you, you are sensing. I think that there's too much of a power gap between the physician and the patient. The physicians don't have time to explain, and the, and um, the 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 base of knowledge is is let, let's be frank. The base of knowledge for science in a lot of the population is very low. So instead of having maintaining that power gap between the physician and the patient, it's best to elevate the the population to have a higher educational understanding of how the body works, how their body works, and talk, be able to talk to the physician, question the physician, understand you know, different treatments, what's the best options for you, all right? And by doing that, we will slow down uh, being taken advantage of by mainstream media, and we'll, be, we'll slow down this process of um, the medical community um, maintaining that power gap against the population and forcing certain types of treatments that should be happening. So I am a strong advocate of this idea of citizen scientist. Now there's another element of citizen scientist. Citizen scientist is to get your knowledge up so you can help to improve your health. Uh, if you do see a doctor, you're reducing that po that power imbalance. So you you know you can ask discerning questions to the to the doctor, and you'll be amazed on how off guard they are because they are so used to talking to a patient that doesn't know anything about medicine or or science. When you go in there and you talk to your doctor with a lot of knowledge, um, that changes the dynamic. Uh, in top on top of that, you will be able to get the knowledge to be able to read a research journal and discern uh, the validity of that research. Not all research is valid just because it's published. There are many different problems that can arise from it. Conclusions could be wrong. The, the uh, data collection method could be faulty. Um, does it parlay with other research saying something similar or something different and being able to discern because you can do a lot of different research studies and have different research designs and you may get a different conclusion. So being able to uh, understand that just because a paper says X, Y, Z and another paper says X, Y, Z doesn't mean that another paper could say something ABC. All right. So, so you got to understand it's, 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 about, it's, it's about research design. It's, it's about, it's about um, um, understanding the research papers and having a base to go, go off of. So if you take the 22 modules, which will take time, um, you will gain a lot of knowledge for a very, for a very little cost. Um, so it's, so, and that could help to improve your health. That could that that could be there to help improve your health. Um, now, there's also the aspect of the citizen scientist to being able to band together and try to fight a, a certain tyranny that may arise. And I think 
I, I don't want to go into detail of that, but you can understand by reading in between the lines uh, what I'm saying here, that we needed more people that had a scientific background to be able to fight the, the, the crisis that we went through. Unfortunately, there was a lot of people that didn't have that scientific background and have a lot of opinions, but don't really have uh, you know, the, the nuance. What you will get out of these modules is nuance. You'll be able to get the ideas that everything's not black and white here and that there's, a, there's nuance. And you'll, you'll start to understand some of my, the, the reasons why I said certain things when I said it, all right? But um, this is kind of like medical school knowledge for the masses. And not just that, you're going to start learning a little bit about how to do physical examinations um, to, uh, you know, to see if something is happening on your body or maybe in your family. But the, the point here is, is get informed. You'll be able to read research journals. You'll be able to be a citizen scientist and reduce the tyranny from the mainstream media, from big pharma, and from that, that power imbalance between the patient and the physician, all right? And that way, you're going, we're going to have better outcomes. We're going to have uh, better outcomes in terms of um, treatment when you need to be treated, and you're going to be an informed patient. Um, and you'll be able to read research papers, and discern them. You can, have, you can create your own opinion. You don't need the opinion of Dr. Paul Cottrell or Dr. Whoever, right? Or, you know, citizen scientist, whatever. You can have your own opinion because you've spent the time to get the knowledge. The other aspect to this is you are exercising your brain, all right, when you're going through these modules. And again, part of an anti-aging protocol is not just taking supplements, not just eating right, but also proper sleep, proper exercise, proper balancing exercises, and challenging your mind. You got to read and you're going to write, you need to need to talk to people, you need to challenge your brain on things that are difficult. And so view these modules as a way to exercise your brain. These things are set up for all ages, all right? So some of the people that may want to purchase this module could be the one that wants to be the citizen scientist. Another person may be a person that uh, needs a refresher on some modules while they are doing their medical studies or in nursing or uh, uh, physician assistant um, for their schooling. Others may be that they have a child that is somewhat gifted that may be in high school or uh, maybe first or second year in college and they're thinking about going into medicine but they, they don't really know what it, what it, what, what it really means in terms of the knowledge that's in medical school. And um, they give it better insight. Uh, these types of gifted children would be, um, they would get benefit from learning from this material. So it's individuals that are thinking about going into medicine, individuals that don't have the time to go into medicine um, or don't have the inclination to go into medicine, but want the knowledge and, and uh, to challenge their brain or become a citizen scientist or improve their health or um, you know, reduce that power imbalance be between the patient and the doctor. So you know, there's many reasons why to get these, these modules, but um, it's only $50. You click the, the, the button for the store under classes, once you purchase the, the, the $50 um, module, you will get an email and you, that email will have the access code to for, for the module you purchase. Each module will have a different access code and you will be able to download the PDFs, you can save them and you'll have access to the accompanying video to that slide deck. For the pulmonary module, I have, um, I have 22 topics to, to go over. 
the ones that have been populated right now are the are the first four the pulmonary embryology pulmonary anatomy pulmonary physiology and hemoglobin every day i issue another video lecture for the pulmonary module until all 22 are populated so please go to the store the-studio-reykvik.com and purchase the pulmonary module that i that that i offer um now the the it's only fifty dollars and you'll have access to those videos and those um, those pdfs you will learn a lot a lot all right it's going to be challenging there's going to be some big words there's going to be some biochem <laughs> There's going to be pharmacology, there's going to be anatomy, but you're going to learn a lot. There's going to be a lot there. So, uh, and it, again, it's for people that are interested in getting into medicine, people that are already in medicine and need a refresher, or people that have no intentions of practicing, um, you know, medicine or being in medicine, but uh, want the knowledge and, and be that citizen scientist and be able to re read those research papers. So um, it, it's a great way to challenge your brain and to really change the dynamics. I think that the, unfortunately, the base of science and the base of understanding the human body is so low in the population. And the only way to improve health is to, to educate, they educate the population uh, to a point where they can improve their health. Many diseases are preventable. Um, and not only that, uh, many diseases, if you catch early, uh, aren't as bad compared to catching them when they're late. So, you know, this is a great way to improve your health and, and, and to get educated, you know, about a very important subject. Science and medicine is a major, a major topic of, of, of importance for you and your family. So with that said, uh, please go to the store, the-studio-reykjavik.com. Now, um, kind of surprised that there's no live stream chat in this, uh, in this broadcast. This is the first, for the ones that are that watching, this is the first time that I've been doing the Rumble Studio recording. So I may have clicked an option where you can't, you can't uh, chat, which if I did, I, I don't, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, let me just type in a live chat to see if it, it, it's working. It is working. So, so, you know, for the ones that want to chat, please chat. Um, so that's the, that's the, that's the pulmonary module that I offer on my store, the dash studio dash .com. link is in the description of this video and all my videos. Now I want to go over the, some of the, products I offer on my store and some of the new products that I have. And I'll, you know, I don't have a, flat, a bunch of flashing stuff you know, in the background like I've been doing for some of the videos lately. But um, I want to just kind of like explain the thought process in terms of the anti-aging protocol and some of the products that I have and how to use them and you know how to improve your health. So the, the concept of the anti-aging protocol stems all the way back to when I was 16 years old. Uh, when I was young, you know, going all the way to 12 years old, um, heart disease was rampant on my mother's side of the family. You know, my grandmother, passed away from heart disease. My uncle passed away from heart disease in the same year, only just a couple months apart, two or three months apart from my grandmother. And um, I had been, and I was only 12 years old. Uh, so I have been super vigilant about making sure that, or at least trying to, to have a, uh, a, a good heart, a healthy heart, um, and unfortunately, you know, other family members had heart attacks and triple bypasses and lots of stents. My brother passed away from a heart attack. Um, um, you know, my mother died, died when she contracted Omicron 
Um, and what took her was heart failure. So, you know, that, so I've been hyper vigilant about this, right? So going all the way back to about 16 years old, I was just in, if you remember, there was, there was a store called Borders um, that no longer exists, but um, Borders was a bookstore. And I used to hang around and I just would be in the science section or whatever. And I, I was roaming around and I saw this book that was talking about antioxidants, all right? This is in the 80s, right? Mid 80s. And I read the book and I started following uh, some of the recommendations. Now, back then, it was about vitamin A and vitamin E and vitamin D and, you know, so it was kind of the simple stuff, right? Um, but then it also had uh, diet, you know, what type of vegetables to eat, what types of fruits. So, you know, eating fruits and vegetables, trying to stay away from, you know, fried meats, um, trying to stay away from uh, things that may, as you're cooking them, turn carcinogenic, staying away from carbohydrates that are burnt. Um, even back then, staying away from like cold cuts because of the nitrites and nitrites. Uh, so, you know, this book, I don't have anymore, unfortunately. I don't even remember who was the author of it. Um, but it was, it, it was one of those random things in a bookstore that ch literally changed my life. All right. So I, um, you know, I've been following many aspects of that book throughout my whole life since 16 years old, taking a lot of antioxidants. And as time has gone on, different supplements have come onto the market. And, uh, you know, it got to the point where I thought that being able to provide a combination of supplements to slow down the aging process based on, and to improve your health, based on what I saw since I was 16 years old and improving on the process, all right? I've done triathlons, I've, you know, been very active in my tw 20s and 30s. Um, but once my brother passed away, I, I stopped being hyperactive. Um, I just kind of slowed down the, you know, the marathon type stuff and all that. But, um, but the idea here is you got to be balanced, all right? It's about proper supplementation. It's about proper exercise. It's about proper balancing exercises because you need to you need to activate your cerebellum it's not just cardio and and anaerobic it's not just weight training and cardio but there's it's also balancing um and it's about proper sleep because you need to get those REM cycle sleeps for memory consolidation and get and to actually detoxify your body your body detoxifies while you're sleeping and you, you um, need to challenge your brain, you know? You need, to, you need to read, you need to write, stay away from the social media, all right? A little bit, you know, is okay, but overdoing it is, is, is harmful, especially for children. And um, you will start to see an improvement in, in your health, all right? Now, what are some of the things that you can go to and, and add to your life uh, from my store to improve your immune system, to slow down the aging process, to improve the cellular functions, the cellular function of your, of your, of your body, all right? Uh, it's a great question, and there's many things that you need to do. You know, but you just start, if you, if you haven't been doing this, I've been talking about this for four years. So there are many people that are following it. Many people buy my anti-aging boxes or just individual supplements. And they reach out to me and they tell me that they're, you know, that was right. Well, I know I'm right. You know, just follow my lead and you'll, we'll see huge improvements. All right. Um, but it, nothing is a silver bullet. All right. You know, there are genetic disorders that, you know, you can't reverse um, that easily, if, if at all. 
but uh, there, there are ways to improve your situation. The far majority of the people out there don't have gen genetic disorders. Um, so, you know, the improvement gains are more vast for these kinds of individuals. But um, the idea here is antioxidants and neutralizing pathogens and bringing down inflammation. Now, why is that important? Why are these, these three pillars important? Well, if you don't neutralize pathogens on a regular basis, now, um, you know, part of this is kind of a cleansing um, um, regimen. Um, but the idea here is, is that if you don't neutralize pathogens, then your body is always fighting pathogens. And therefore, your immune system is always in a defensive mode. All right, because it's fighting. It's trying to fight and invade it. And you're fighting, so it's in a defensive mode. You want to not be in a defensive mode. You want to be in an offensive mode. You want to have a strong immune system and um, you're not constantly in a chronic state of fighting something. So that's one reason on why neutralizing pathogens is really important. Uh, another is, is that if you catch it early, you neutralize these pathogens early, you won't get the, the over pathogenic load um, versus someone that doesn't. Now, the antioxidant side, all right, again, this goes all the way back to when I was 16 years old, uh, taking antioxidants is going to radically change the, the, your, your aging rate, all right, with everything else constant. You know, of course, there's genetic problems, you know, genetic disorders and all this, but, but in general, um, you know, so over time, there has been an improvement in antioxidants, uh, especially uh, the potency of them. Now, you still need your vitamin E's, you still need your vitamin A's, you still need, you know, your, you know, your other vitamins, and some of those are antioxidants. But the product C60, all right, this product here, C60, is a very, very strong antioxidant. Now, what is an antioxidant for people that don't know? Well, it soaks up free radicals. What's a free radical? A charged oxygen, all right? Now, a charged oxygen does havoc to your cells. They, it causes damage to your cells, all right? So what you want to do is neutralize those charged oxygens, right? Now, when you get older, you build up more free radicals, more charged oxygens compared to when you are younger, right? So the ability to process out these free radicals diminishes as you get older. So the importance of using antioxidants when you're older starts to increase. In addition, when you start to neutralize these free radicals when you're younger, there's a compound effect if you keep on doing that year after year after year, because you don't have this buildup of, of, of problems within the cell. There are these, there's this process, necrosis, all right? And these free radicals can create either a reversible necrosis or a permanent necrosis of these cells. And when it goes into um, to the point where it's not reversible, then the cell might turn cancerous. It might go through apoptosis. It may go into senescence. There's a lot of things that can happen. But the point here is, is that a big part of the disease of, of starting the, the a, a, you know starting this aging, right, is kind of the cellular disease process that's happening. Um, through free radicals. So taking C60 will soak up these free radicals. This is a carbon molecule that has 60 carbons. And because of the shape of this molecule, it's like a soccer ball. So it's a buckyball. And th this, this um, will soak up thousands of free radicals. Now people would say, well, you can take vitamin C and that's an antioxidant. Yeah. But that only will soak up one free radical. So the molecule 
is important in being able to have the capacity to soak up the free radicals. So it's very potent. So you take a teaspoon of this a day, every day, and what you will notice on an empty stomach is the best absorption. And what you will notice is that you, your cells are getting better. And over time, you're going to actually start seeing that you have more energy because your cells don't have that, that oxi oxidative load on it, those free radicals. And your mitochondria will improve. Your mitochondria produces the ATP that you need for, for the energy in your body. All right? So that's part of the reason why when you, it's not the only reason, but it's part of the reason why the elderly start to lose energy is because their mitochondria isn't healthy because they're built up of free radicals. So you soak up these free radicals and you'll slow down the aging process. The earlier you start, the better. And you'll get that compounding effect. It's kind of similar if you save a little bit each month, the earlier you do, you'll have more money in the bank, all right? Because of the compound interest that, that takes place. This is a similar concept. So go to the store, the-studio-reikivik.com, link is in the description, and get the C60 that I offer. I have it in two ounce, four ounce, and an eight ounce configuration. You can get it in coconut or an avocado, all right? You take a teaspoon out of a day, and that will be part of that second pillar to, to help with this anti-aging protocol and boost up your, help to boost up your immune system. That first part of that protocol with neutralizing pathogens is taking liquid, liquid structural nanosilver, all right? I have some, a product called Health Max 14 and Health Max 35. Health Max 14 is 14 parts per million of structural nanosilver. And Health Max 35 is 35 parts per million. Now you take a teaspoon of this a day and you, sw you swish it in your mouth and you swallow it. And that's neutralizing pathogens that might be in the oral cavity, all right? Now, what will happen here is, is that uh, you, you do this every day. You can also couple it with the structural nanosilver gel. You put that around your mouth, around your hands, around your ears. It can be used as a skincare product because it'll help heal the skin. If you have acne, it'll help with that. And what this basically does is neutralize pathogens, all right? Um, so that's the first two pillars. Then you have this, the, the last pillar of this anti-aging protocol, all right? And then you hang stuff on, on these pillars. It's bringing down inflammation. Why do you want to bring down inflammation, all right? Some of my research that I did for my master's so, at, at Harvard University through HES was how to treat autoimmune diseases, all right? Well, autoimmune diseases is when you have a uh, body uh, being attacked by your immune system. Well, how do you calm that down? You calm that down by bringing down the pro-inflammatory cytokines, all right? Now, my research was based on trying to treat a peripheral nervous system disorder. But the concept of bringing down inflammation, so again, the three pillars, neutralize pathogens, soak up those free radicals, and bring down pro-inflammatory cytokines, bring down inflammation. You take turmeric. Turmeric will help with bringing down that inflammatory response but it's also an antioxidant. So you, there's some of these things have dual purpose, all right? So turmeric, taking it every day. And if you like are sore or whatever, you take a little bit extra, all right? But, or if you're fighting a cold or something, take a little bit extra. But what you wanna do is take this on a regular basis and that will be part of that third pillar for the anti-aging protocol. Now, you couple that with ashwagandha root. This product is great because it controls your blood glucose levels. And by controlling your blood glucose levels, you're going to reduce that cardiovascular inflammatory response when you have a high glucose count from, from eating. All right. So 
take this with the turmeric and though that coupled with the structural nano silver liquid coupled with the C60, you do that every day. And those are the, those are the three pillars for the anti-aging protocol. Now, you know, the way I, you know, fr frame anti-aging protocol basically means this, get your body's immune system up to a point where it is more wrecked. It's more, it's, it's more powerful. You're gaining more energy. You're gaining more power for your immune system. All right. Now, then you start taking other stuff and you add to those, to that, those three pillars. Probiotics are really important. Why? Because your gut biome is heavily involved in metabolism, heavily involved in being able to, to soak up nutrients. It has communication with your brain, it has communication with your liver. So having a good, but a good gut biome is very important. I have two different types of probiotics. Some people like to take just the capsules. And of course, this also has turmeric in it. So, you know, it, it has that added antioxidant and anti-inflammatory aspect to it. But this, this product will help to repopulate your gut, have the proper gut biome so you can digest your food more easily and you'll have the, 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 that better metabolism, that better communication between your, your liver and your, your gut and your gut and your brain, all right? It's very important. This gut health is very important. Now, you know, I also recommend probably once every year or once every other year to do cleanses, you know, and there's different types of cleanses. I don't sell cleansing products, but, um, you know, you, you know, you can do an easy, you know, really, you know, um, mild liver cleanse. Some people do a heavy duty liver cleanse. And then there's also, you know, uh, a mild to moderate uh, colon cleanses, you know, every once a year or maybe every other year. Uh, what I have noticed since the crisis is an increase in younger people getting polyps. So it's really important for you to have proper gut biome. Watch what you eat. Don't eat too many, too many um, meat products, especially if they've been cured, like, you know, like cold cuts type stuff. Um, try to stay away from it being fried because that can be carcinogenic. But um, I have been noticing people at a younger age getting polyps. Well, if you remove the polyp early, you're okay. But if you don't, it could be deadly and it can metastasize and get to your liver and get to your lungs. So it's really important to do cancer screening at a younger age. So gut, proper gut biome, start doing the cleanses, watch what you're eating, stay away from ways of cooking that may be carcinogenic. Vitamin C. Now, vitamin C is really important for your skin. It helps with your immune system. You should take a, a double dose of this if you're not feeling well. You drink water because it's water soluble. Make sure that the water you drink is filtered so it doesn't have any fluoride in it. Fluoride is terrible for your body. I don't care what they say, it is terrible for your body. It messes up your pineal gland and you know, uh, you know, as long as you take the tooth, take the toothpaste that, that I recommend and I sell, uh, you'll be fine with your teeth. All right. But fluoride is terrible for you. All right. So get it out of your, out of your water. I use a, a zero water filtration system. That's a five, five level filtration system. Some people have more you know, elaborate water filtration systems. I don't do that. I just do the zero water filtration, but um, drink filtered water, get the fluoride out. So vitamin C is important. It'll help with cross-linking your collagen for your dermal layer. 
So you'll have, you know, better skin. They'll help with your immune system. And it is an antioxidant, but it's not as strong as C60. This will only neutralize one free radical and it doesn't recharge. C60 will soak up those free radicals and recharge. So it can soak, it can, it can soak up thousands of them. This can only soak up one, one molecule of vitamin C. So resveratrol is really important. All right. It's also an antioxidant. It's been known to, to kind of slow down the aging process. It's a, it's a compound that's on grapes, on the skin of grapes. So, you know, people that drink wine also, uh, you know, have access to this, this, um, this compound. But what is really important with this, it's it synergic, synergistic with C60. Again, C60 is the strong antioxidant. This is an antioxidant also, but it will help to get rid of some cells. And remember what I was saying, when you get older, your cells will get to the point where they either apoptose or they just stop dividing and just stay there. And if they just stay there, all right, they'll start to accumulate garbage, you know, toxins and stuff. You want to get rid of that, all right? And then, and, and then when you get rid of your sinus cells in the cell tissues that have a basal layer, stem cells, then you'll start to have new, new um, cells in that population. And so if you do this over a long period of time, what will happen, what will happen is, is that your cells that have been dividing and those telomeres are sh shrinking, right? Eventually you're taking products that will get rid of the senesce cells and help populate the population with the, from your adult stem cells and you'll have longer telomeres. So if you take a patient, if you take, let's say, um, one person that's not on the anti-aging protocol and you sample certain types of tissue, and let's say it's over a 10-year period, you'll notice that their telomeres are shrinking. Their average telomere length in a particular tissue is small versus someone that's been on an anti-aging protocol for, let's say, you know, five or 10 years, right? And you start doing tissue samples and you compare, no non-anti-aging protocol sample to anti-aging protocol sample patient. And you'll notice that their telomere length is longer. It's not that the cells telomeres grew. What it is is that you're getting rid of the senesce cells and that new cells are, being co are coming from the adult stem cells that have longer telomeres. And therefore the tissue is actually younger. So there is such a thing as your chronological age and your biological age. And there is such a thing as the biological age of different tissues. Some tissues, because of the regenerative process, is not robust or at all there. Some areas of our body do not regenerate um, or regenerate at a very, very, very slow rate. Um, those will be more in line with your chronological age. Uh, but sometimes, you're, you know, even in those types of tissues, if you're not taking care of your body, your biological age may be actually much older than your chronological age because of the toxins being built up in the lifestyle that you chose. So um, this concept of biological age and chronological age, and that at the, at the different tissue levels, you, it may be a little bit different. So keep that in mind. Vitamin D3, it helps to, to, to absorb calcium, but not just that, it is a gene expression cofactor. It helps to get rid of cells that have been infected and to go through apoptosis, all right? It's a gene expression cofactor, but it's also a very important for calcium absorption. Now, um, when I was doing triathlons, right, um, I would get arthritis, right? And this was in my 40s when I, when I saw an episode from Dr. Group, and Dr. Group was talking about how to treat osteoarthritis through D3, drinking milk, you know, taking in calcium, 
D taking D3 and um, doing light resistance training, right? And over time, you will be able to reduce that osteoarthritis. But unfortunately, if you're doing that, you have to take a lot of D3. And two, uh, it can be very painful for the first two months, actually more painful than the, the osteoarthritis that you may have. But what happens is after that first two months, it, the, the pain diminishes radically uh, and you are healing and you no longer have the arthritis. So, so uh, there is a way to treat osteoarthritis, uh, especially if it was induced because of overuse of joints, because of work or because of sports. But um, there, is a, there is a special technique to do it and, and knowing when to stop all right, um, is, is also important. So vitamin D3 is very, very important. Clarity factor. Now we're talking, now we're dealing with the mental acuity, all right? When we get older, our dendrites will start to recede, all right? And when those dendrites start to recede, we don't process our, our, um, our neurological connections very well. All right, the more connections you have within reason, because there is something called hyperconductivity and hypoconductivity. But as you get older, you start to have less conductivity because those dendrites start to recede. Those neurotransmitters aren't firing as fast or as much and you slow down your, your memory, you slow down your, your, your thinking, movement changes will slow down. So you want those dendritic connections and get those neurons firing. So by doing exercises, a little bit of cardio, a little bit of anaerobic, you know, resistance training, some balancing exercises, you're going to get the better blood flow. You're going to get more muscle mass and your cerebellum is gonna start firing, all right? And when you're doing these exercises, you're also telling your brain to fire at those muscle groups, all right? And there's different types of neurons, and we'll go over that in neurology, in the neurology module. But the, the idea here is, is that you want to just get those neurons firing. So at the acuity, the mental acuity level, the clarity factor will help to get those neurons firing and as you're, when you have better concentration and you're taking the C60 to, to reduce the, the free radical load, you're also improving your mitochondrial health. So when you're improving the mitochondrial health, you're gonna have more ATP. And when you have more ATP for those neurons, you're gonna start firing those neurotransmitters more. And those dendrites, because you are working out, you're balancing, doing your balancing exercises, you're getting better blood flow. There creates an environment of growth, right? You need some kind of like uh, a growth signals for these dendrites to, to start to move forward. It's when you become less active, less mentally active and less physically active when these dendrites start to, to recede, all right? So we want to create an environment, a micro environment, where those dendrites start to grow again, like in a growth phase, all right? So you wanna get those neurotransmitters firing, you wanna be doing these, these exercises, don't get too crazy, but a little bit of cardio, a little bit of resistance training, some balance exercises, reading, writing, and talking to people are really important challenging your brain do something that you're not used to let's say you really like history but you hate you know some other subject start learning a little bit about that other subject and, and challenge your brain and you're going to create this micro environment where those dendrites will want to move forward and you need to give your body those nutrients with proper diet proper supplementation and those dendrites will start to reconnect and you'll start to have faster acuity if you look at people that do writing and reading, especially writing, they when you look at them in their eight in their eighties, and let's say they've been writers through many of their 
much of their adulthood life. These, these individuals that read and write and speak to people um, have a tendency to be much more active and have a, a higher mental acuity than their peer group that's not writing being at, writing and reading and being active. All right. So take my advice, you know, the data's there. All right. You just look at geriatric, you look at geriatric patients that are basically, they, they just, you know, they retired and they do nothing and they just stare at their TV versus people that, you know, grow a garden or, or, you know, writing, you know, they're, you know, working on some research or writing a book or, you know, they're, they're part of a, 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 a social group that they're talking a lot. You'll notice these types of geriatric patients age much better, much better. They have better outcomes versus ones that are retiree sitting, eating their TV dinner in front of, you know, and watching TV and then going to bed, right? You don't want to fall into that trap. So take clarity factor every day. This will help you to focus at work and on your schooling. But even if you are retired, this will help you to get those dendrites firing and, and, and get those neurological connections. So please go to my store and get the clarity factor. Now, I partnered up with Rainbow Herbals and we've created some products. Uh, two of those products are two types of deodorant. We have this deodorant bar that is either in citrus or in peppermint, lavender, and tea, tea tree. It's a product that's made from essential oils from the Himalayas, extremely high quality. There's actually a certain vibration. It's, you know, not to get too nuanced with this, but you can make a chemical, right? Or, you know, um, ext extract, you know, certain chemicals out of leaves or whatever, but you can act, you can also put in a certain harm, harmonic and it, and it adds to the, add, it, that harmonic adds to the, the uh, reactivity of your molecules or of the, of the substances, right? So this Himalayan material also has a certain harmonic, all right? It's extremely high quality. Now the deodorants are a little bit pricier than what you would get at, you know, let's say from Procter and Gamble, but it has no aluminum in it. It's all natural. It's from the Himalayas and this bar will help to detoxify your body. So it's like a light detox, but it also is acting as a deodorant. It's for males and females. It's in citrus or in peppermint, lavender and tea tree. You just, you know, use it every day as a deodorant, but you're gonna be also helping to detoxify your body. This is a very high quality product. Please go to the store and get this. It's the-studio-reykjavik.com. Link is in the description of this video and all my videos. Now, we, have on my store, toothpaste. All right, this toothpaste is a structural nano silver toothpaste. It does not have fluoride in it. I can't tell you enough, fluoride is really, really bad. Keep the fluoride out of your body. Toothpaste, this toothpaste has zero fluoride in it. It has structural nano silver, and this will neutralize pathogens. It'll whiten your teeth, freshen your breath, reduce the gum irritation, and by doing that, you're going to be improving your cardiovascular health. Good oral hygiene is associated with good cardiovascular health. If you have bad oral hygiene, you're going to start having problems with your cardiovascular system, and you're going to start having problems with your, your, your valves on your heart because bacteria can, can vegetate. Um, you know, on those valves and you start to have calcification and then you can have a lot of problems later, either the, cal the, the calcium breaks off, you know, and that can cause a stroke or uh, the valve starts to become stiff 
and you start having, you know, problems, uh, you know, with blood flow through that heart valve um, and blood pressure problems and, you know, a whole, whole slew of issues can arise when you have this, this issue. Now, uh, you know, a lot of times what happens with alveolar disease, and we'll go over this in the cardio, the cardio mo mo module, cardiology module, um, you know, you might have some sort of irritation starts with some sort of bacterial infection or viral infection. And then that irritation will start to cause problems and cal calcifications on your valve, all right? The whole idea is neutralize pathogens. I can't tell you why, I, I can't tell you enough why that is so important, all right? And that's the first pillar of the anti-aging protocol, neutralizing pathogens reduce reactive oxygen species, and bring down inflammation, all right? And taking this toothpaste, even though it just seems so simple, just taking a toothpaste, you do this every day, you're gonna improve your oral health. And this is the best toothpaste that you can buy. There's no, no one out there that, 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 that sells a better product, all right? So, Please go to the store, the-studio-reykjavik.com and improve your oral hygiene and improve your cardiovascular system. I was talking about silver gel. Silver gel is a structural nano silver product. It's in a gel form, right? It's in a tube. And what you do is you just put it on your hands, stays active for about five hours, all right? It'll neutralize pathogens, way better than Perel. Perel evaporates, stays active for about 30 seconds, and you know cracks your skin. This actually heals your skin, all right? Uh, and it'll neutralize pathogens. You can put it around your nose, lightly coat your nostrils, or around your mouth, around your eyes, around your ears, right? Perel, you can't do that, all right? So this is a really important product to have in your home just to neutralize pathogens. But you can also apply it to a cut. It'll help to heal the cut because it's it's neutralizing pathogens and, and you know keeping that cut clean. It'll help with minor burns. It'll help with acne. And if you put it on your skin at night uh, and then exfoliate uh, in the morning, you'll start to notice that your skin is tighter, and you'll start to notice that your skin is healthier. Now I have a whole product. Um, line that's dealing with just skincare. Uh, that's basically stru structural nanos gel. You take take collagen. You take vitamin C, C60, and resveratrol, and you do that every day, and your skin is actually going to be improved. The reason being, the topical is the structural nano silver gel that tightens your skin, and the the lower layer, your dermal layer. Is improved because the the resveratrol is getting rid of the senesce cells near down at the very lower area of your dermal layer, and the C60 is improving the health of that basal layer because it's bringing down those free radicals. Because you got to remember, you know, you're bombarded by a bunch of chemicals. Your skin's bombarded by UV radiation, there's tons of stuff that your skin is being exposed to, all right? So, you know, improving that basal layer is going to improve as it's repopulating and moving up. Your skin has different layers, and the highest layer has the highest level of keratin. But, um, you know, you want to improve that. So vitamin C and the collagen will cross-link if you drink about 64 ounces of, of, of water, filtered water. So you take the collagen, the vitamin C, you get the cross-linking, you get better dermal layer, you're improving the basal layer by taking the resveratrol and the, and the C60, and you're improving the topical layer by, by applying the gel. You do that every day and you're gonna improve your skin. Now, I also have structural nail silver soaps. Now, the structural nano silver soaps, I have in different varieties, right? I have the peppermint. Now, again, 
these are you know high quality all my products are high quality so this is a high quality soap um so go to the store get a couple bars of this but i have it in peppermint i also have it in lavender this one's lavender and then i have oatmeal spice and charcoal tea tree and i have one other one that i can't remember what, what it really is and I also have, let me get some of the other products here. I also have lozenges, all right? Now, these are the structural nail cell lozenges. Now, the, that's important, you know, one, to neutralize pathogens, but to soothe your throat when you're sick or whatever. You know, we're near the tail end of the cold season. It's through March. So, you know, we have to go through February and March and then we're done with it. But you can still get irritation through the summer months through, you know, antigens in the air. And some people have some sort of allergic reaction and get irritation in the throat. So you want to get these really high quality lozenges and drops. So I have this 20 count green apple lozenges that you can get from the store. I also have drops in 100 count, either in blueberry. So these drops are a little bit smaller than the lozenges, but you have a, a larger quantity in the bag in blueberry or in honey and lemon. So, you know, get a couple bags and make sure you have it in stock for your, your house um, as we are in the cold season and as we move and approach the spring and summer uh, because people do get allergies. So have that in stock. I have these two new products on the store that I, I want to mention. I have elder, elderberry and zinc lozenges. You get you get a 21 count in this. So this is a structural nano silver loz, lozenges. And you I also have the Manuka honey structural nano silver lozenges. So I have different varieties, either in, you know, larger form or in the small drop form. So it depends on, you know, what, you know, what you prefer. Um, but please go to the store, the-studio-reykjavik.com. Now, I have a multivitamin, a very easy to digest multivitamin. You want to get a good multivitamin, go to my store and, and get this product. But this will help with those cofactors that you need because during metabolism, we have a lot of enzymes and we'll go through those modules in biochemistry on what those enzymes are. But there are these cofactors and you know, uh, minerals and vitamins uh, act as cofactors that help with these enzymes to form uh, move into a certain shape where they're more efficient. So to have the proper metabolism, the proper enzymatic activity, you need to have a multi, good multivitamin. So please go to my store, the-studio-reykjavik.com and get the multivitamin that I offer. Omega-3, you know, we've been talking about cardiovascular health. Omega-3 is very important for cardiovascular health. Why? Because it, it controls your lipid profile. What you want is high HDL and low LDL within reason. You don't want it too low because you might have problems then too. But, but America, in America, the lipid profiles of many patients, they have a high LDL and a low HDL. Well, how do you improve that? You improve that by proper diet and proper exercise and proper supplementation. Through the exercising, you are going to increase your HDL through through the um, through the um, controlling of what you eat, proper diet and proper supplementation. You're going to be able to control that LDL. All right, so bring down that HDL, bring down that LDL, bring up your HDL through exercise, and bring down that LDL through diet and supplementation. The supplementation part of it is taking omega-3. So that will improve your cardiovascular health. 
And, you know, by improving your cardiovascular health, you know, you won't have that inflama inflammatory response in your cardiovascular system, right? And that's part of the anti, you know, part of aging is clogged arteries, right? Part of the aging is that inflammatory response in the blood vessels in your, in your vascular system. So, you know, those are some of the many products that I offer. I have a lot more, but, you know, I'm not going to, you know, go through every single product, but please go to my store, the-studio-regulate.com. So in, in parting, all right, what are the key takeaways from this? The key takeaways are this. Citizen journalists are important, but citizen scientists are more important, all right? And my observation going through the crisis in 2020 has been that the baseline for scientific understanding, and especially in medicine, is low in the, in the public. And we need to do something about it. Not everybody wants to or can, you know, learn medicine in medical school, right? But through technology, we are getting to the point where we can, we can um, um, learn quicker, all right? And one way is to, you know, learn about different medical systems, all right? The pulmonary system, the cardiovascular system. So I'm creating these products, these modules, as classes that go into detail on how to, you know, understand these systems. So you reduce the power imbalance between patient and doctor. So you're more informed when you go to see your doctor. You'll be able to read a research paper and understand it and, and understand why it's important or why it's not important. Um, and you won't be beholden to what they're saying in mainstream media. Be the citizen scientist, all right? On top of that, it will help to, you know, challenge your brain because it's gonna be some, you know, interesting but hard subjects. And you need to challenge your brain to slow down that aging process. The other takeaway is just that the ones that are going on this, you know, have been on this journey in terms of, you know, better health, you know, anti-aging, um, longevity, you know, improved, um, you know, life. Great. Keep on doing it. All right. And again, it, it's not just one silver bullet type thing. It's about proper exercise, proper diet, proper balancing exercises, proper nutrition, proper supplementation, proper challenging the brain, talking to people, staying away from too much social media, be positive, add, you know, a little bit of spirituality in your life, and that will go a long way, all right? And this anti-aging, and the anti-aging protocol and the anti-aging products that I have, you know, follow the, the pillars, reduce pathogens, reduce reactive oxygen species, the free radicals, reduce those, and bring down inflammation, right? And then you add stuff to that, you know, collagen, and probiotics and the good night formula and the, you know, the clarity factors and stuff. Proper sleep's really important, all right? And that you can get those products on my store, the-studio-reykjavik.com. You can buy them individually or you can go to the anti-aging boxes that I have curated and you can purchase what's in the box so you, you don't have to, you know, figure out, you know, what you need to get. Um, that way you will be able to um, you know, learn what, what to get. You can customize it and get a box and add some stuff to it or just purchase individual products or just purchase an anti-aging box based on your price point. I have a lot to offer. You pay attention to me and you're going to learn a lot and you're going to improve your health. Thank you for listening. Please make sure you subscribe to all my channels. This is my first rumble studio live recording so hopefully it all turned out well for the ones that have been watching live thank you for listening and have a nice day